We are very happy to welcome you to University of Abuja Center for Distance Learning. As an applicant, you have few steps to take to complete your application process. Now that you are here, our website is cdlce.uniabuja.edu.ng, as you can see on the screen. So once you are here, you click on 2021-2022 admission form. After clicking on it, it takes you straight to the page where you'll be able to read detailed information about the application, the programs we are running. Actually, we have two programs. We have the first one called ODL, which is Open and Distance Learning. And under that, we have five programs currently. We have BSc Business Administration, Public Administration, Economics, Political Science, and Sociology, Bachelor of Science. And the second one, we have part-time programs. Under that, we have 70 programs, as you can see on your screen. Actually, what distinguishes between the two is that we have 30% face-to-face interaction for open and distance learning and 70% online interaction. While for part-time programs, we have 100% face-to-face -face interactions. You understand? So also, for open and distance learning programs, it is four-year program for direct entry students and five-year program for all-level applicants. But on part-time programs, it is six-year program for all-level applicants and five-year program for direct entry program. So here you have the admission requirement for both programs. It will go read through the ODA program, the, the duration and all that, the, what distinguishes between them. So once you are through and you're very much ready to apply, you simply come down here and click on apply now. After clicking on the apply now, it brings you straight to a portal. If you look through the website address, you will see it has changed from our Center for Distance Learning address back to our quarter, all for University of Abuja. What you need to do right now is enter your basic information, which is your surname. Please be mindful of the characters you are entering here. There shouldn't be any space before your name or after your name because all the columns here are case sensitive one and they are character sensitive. You input only your name, your surname, your first name, your other name, your email address, and ensure you have an active email address that is, you have an access to the email address. Lastly, you enter your phone number. After you've entered your phone number, you come to the mode of study and indicate which of the programs you intend to go for. If it is open and distance learning, having gone through the explanations on our website here, you come here and select which one you intend to go for. Let's assume that I want to apply for Open and Distance Learning by acronym ODL. And my name is, my son name is Onyedika Daniel Emeribe. Please, as I said before, ensure there is no space before your name or after your name. In a situation where you are going to be using a compound name like Onyedika slash, uh, let's say Samuel, you are very open to using that, but just ensure you don't have any space, unnecessary space after your name or before your name. So. After you've entered that rightly, you come to next year. It guides you to how you can make your one-time payment of 15,000 Naira. And after you have made the payment, either at the bank or you made the payment using your ATM card and all that, it will generate your application number for you, through which you will be able to re-log in back to the portal and then have an access to the application form outright. So in the situation where you generated your RRR, which we call remitter reference number, you generated your RRR, then you went to the bank to make your payment with this RRR. If you do not have your ATM with you or your, your network isn't going through, you can generate this RRR, copy the number, then move to any Nigerian bank, telling them that you want to pay for remitter. All they will request from you is this number. After you have done that, you contact us to generate the RRR for you. You can see our contact link on the website. But in a situation where you use your ATM to make the payment, it's straightforward. The payments will be made and automatically 
the application number will be generated for you. Having successfully made your payment with your application number generated for you, you come back to the portal to have an access to the application from which you just paid for. You impute your application number here. So what will be your password is going to be your, your son name in small letter. Now let me let me portray this. In a situation where you used a compound name that is Onyedika slash Samuel as I used it before, you are going to be entering Onyedika, Onyedika. Then you put the slash as well and put the Samuel. You are not just to, you are not to separate them right here. You will enter it the way you entered it before you make the payment. So Onyedika Samuel is going to be your password if you use Onyedika Samuel. In a situation where you use just a name as your surname, you, you simply enter it. Now, having logged in, now having entered the portal, you click on the application form. Click on the application form. That gives you access to the form entirely, the bio data. You fill all this bio data and all that. So once you're done filling it, you click next. It should bring up this for you. You indicate the program you, intend, what you wish to study. Then you you choose your o, your O level. Then if it is uh, two sitting you have, you indicate here. If it is one sitting you have, you indicate here. Then you click next. If you have a level, you could enter it. Then here you make your upload. Upload basically of your passport. Upload of your signature. Upload of your O level. If it is two sitting, you enter it. The first sitting and the second sitting. So this is where you do it. You click here and you select what is the category of what you're trying to upload. Only level first setting. You enter it, then you upload it. And let me also let you know this. When you are making an upload, we have a certain format it must follow. Number one, it has to be in JPEG format. And number two, it must not be more than 100 kilobytes. There is a video section how you can go about it anyway. So it must not be more than 100 kilobytes and it's, it, it has to be only JPEG format. So after you uploaded, you will see all your documents here. So after that, you click next, then you click accept and submit. You click accept here and submit your application. That marks the end for the application process. So you simply wait for us to get back to you once the admission process rightly starts. Thank you.